Hi viewers, and today we're looking at creating this CRT effect that you see in front of you in FSUAE. Now, to create this effect, we use something called a OpenGL shader um, that we can actually add to FSUAE in the configuration. And I've got Eurydim 2 playing here, and you can see the the curvature of the screens, though it's been played on an old school monitor and also if you look closely you'll see scan lines as well and this is all taken um, into account for via the actual config for the shader so to add actual shaders we need to just do a few things first and the first thing is to actually go into our video settings and make sure our scan lines is set to off because most of the shaders we'll be adding will actually counter for scan lines anyway so with that done um, just take note of the settings I'm using for my uh, video there and make sure your V-Sync is off because that actually has an effect on the shader. Um, it will make it run slow. Now to set the OpenGL shaders we use the little clock on the, on the on the screen here and we can this is a temporary configuration that we can actually place in. We can make this more permanent I will show you that towards the end of the video. video. And just type in shader equals and I've misspelled this this wrong here shader equals CRT there is a number of shaders actually you can choose from and we'll go into those in a moment and if we hit start you'll see that we've actually created an effect of a CRT monitor well this is more like um, a TV screen it's more of the older TV screens where they've got that bulge in front uh, the actual front front of the actual screen is it's got curvature to it and it affects not just games it affects your workbench as well and it gives more of an old school look to your games also good for arcade cabinets as well to get that effect in there so I'm just going to run Jimmy White snooker from the actual um, my workbench here and if you've got something that's quite black as a black screen you may not see the effect straight away but you'll see if you can see the edges of the Virgin logo there they've actually you can see the curve there and the snooker is curved and there we can actually see straight away we've got the curvature there again you've got the black in the background which is actually uh, masking some of that effect but if we just start this up it's got this one's got very very thin scan uh, scan lines on there as well so we haven't got much of scan lines there but we'll just uh, go into the game and there you can see the curvature there on your screen so that's a bit bit more of an old school look if you so desire that look that was a terrible pop anyway let's get back to um, when you uh, FSUAE UAE. I'm sure you can do this on WinUAE as well now I'm gonna run Iridium from my um, games here so I'm just going to find it. No, it's not UFO. Let me try that again. There we go, Uridium 2. And we're going to run that one. I'm going to show you the um, what it looks like when you run the actual CRT shader against Uridium 2. This is a more complex game and a more heavy on the actual uh, on the actual uh, GPU and the CPU. So I'm going to run this first with without a setting so you can see what it looks like so as you can see it's, it's taken up the whole of the screen and we'll just wait for it to load up that's good excellent game this is if you haven't played it before I totally recommend this lovely little um, little space shooter shoot them up so we can see how rubbish I am at the game now let me have a go I haven't played this for years this is wicked, I forgot about this. <laughs> um, God, this is fast. Right, let's come out of this and have a look at the settings. So if I jump into my settings here, just add a new line and put shader equals CRT and run this. Now there is a number of shaders you can use, all all different ones as bl uh, bloom shaders, there's different CR shades, CRT shaders. They all run on the GPU, so the GPU takes over the graphics processing unit, and you can see straight away we've got the curvature 
kicking in and there we are there's Iridium 2 with the scan lines and the actual uh, curvatures sitting there they're very thin scan lines for this one well, I'll show you some more in a minute and we're up and running and you can see straight away that we've got the, the curvature, the actual um, scrolling is more more suited towards a TV screen, an early TV screen with this one um, yeah, it's, it's, it makes more of a um, retro feel to your uh, actual gaming experience if you so desire now what should we talk about now um, obviously if we jump over to the site you can see all these different um, these ones that come packaged with FSU UAE so we can actually try different ones out here they've all got different um, different settings and they all look slightly different so we've picked up a new CRT config here and I'm just going to change this one for that one here so there you go so just a quick change and we start that again and there we go it's more of a rougher look different different bit of a different curvature to the screen and let's just jump straight into the game and have a look so this one has got more of a square pixely um I'm trying to find the find the actual dots the separate dots of the CRT and giving that effect still got the curvature but we've got a different when we're on the scan lines we've got a different effect there um, if we look at the others we've got a number of CRT CRT ones and the curvature one so these are all OpenGL plugins so I'm going to run this one next just copy that one and these are all sit on the uh, GPU and what actually happens is there's something called OpenGL uh, pipeline that these get applied to so there's a fragment, a fragment shader and a vertex shader that actually get applied um, oh, this one hasn't got any curvature at all it's just mainly given the texture effect so there's a different effect again no curvature on this one yeah anyway it's back to the pipeline so they get applied afterwards so you can actually program your own open geo shaders I've done it before because I'm a programmer um, I've played away out with uh, the GS I think it's the GSL language that's used it's a universal language so if you ever are programming you can actually get into this and you can add bloom effects um, different types you can actually manipulate the actual output down to a pixel level that's what's happening here. Also, if you don't not program, you can download uh, other shaders and actually install them. But what I'm going to show you here is if you enable this VSync, you'll see that this actually slows the process down. Now, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to just make sure my shader is still active. Uh, I may, yeah, I may change this to the CRT because that one's got the curvature on, so it's uh, so it gives gives more it'll be heavier on the GPU let's start this up so we've got the curvature back and what you'll see now is that the scrolling will be affected so it's always worth to make sure that your VSync is turned off if you're going to use GPU shaders in this OpenGL shaders so as you can see now we've got a more of a choppiness to the actual it's actually making me feel a bit sick um, I'm not going to play this for too long you can, see, you can see that the screen is actually chopping and very juttery on the actual scroll I'm going to come out of that because I can't stand that anymore so so yeah make sure that V-Sync is off um, there are other performance enhancements you can make um, it's well worth making sure that you're using the lowest um, Amiga that you can use because trying to emulate an A1200 is actually quite heavy on even on modern day processors um, I don't think this is going to work chip RAM oh that's not me chip RAM I sort that out so if you get anything about, about uh, memory uh, being a problem just up the chip RAM on there 
set up the memory on on your on your actual MIGA you're trying to emulate. But yeah, going back, so it's it's, it's easier for the actual uh, computer to emulate an A500 rather than an A1200. It takes less less uh, less CPU cycles. This is going to complain about the fast RAM. There we go. Um, you can't use fast RAM more than one two megabytes, so that's been overridden there. So this should start up, but. One thing you've got to be careful of is that I think Uridium 2 was an AGA game in the days. So this will probably, no it's not failing. This will probably, I thought this might fail. This might fail actually when I get into the game. Um, you soon know if it fails because, yeah, there we go. This will happen. Yeah, I got an idea this was an AGA game, so I can't, that was a bad example. But yeah, it's, it's worth picking the lower platforms to actually run the uh, games on now there is some more on here there's uh, on the FSUA site there is some documentation there about FSUA and performance um, if you scroll down there we go performance notes so here this will tell you about things like um, making sure your power profile is set so no power saving making sure if you've got that plug it into the wall and here we go about the disable video sync about disabling video sync there yeah if you've got a laptop make sure you power, uh, plug it into the wall because that will take it out of power saving mode but make sure your power performance is also up full whack as well um well in here it actually says about emulating a1200 here this is demanding since the cpu is clocked twice as high as the cpu mega 500 so it's well worth trying to get away with this, with the um lowest amiga you can but remember about aga games and aga chipsets because they will throw you um what else can we talk about here yeah, it's well worth reading through that because there's lots of performance notes there. So our shader is sitting in the custom configuration here. So um, beware that you can't actually apply two shaders at once. You only allow one two shader. So I put the Atari color fix here. So what I've never done this before. What I'm hoping is that it will take it'll override it with one so I can see straight away this is the Atari color fix because yeah it's washed out the colors actually almost like it's um, bloomed the colors there so it's taken the last one we've added and it's actually removed the one prior to this so you can't mix unfortunately you can't add two shaders in there if you wanted to add two shaders you would have to actually combine the shader code together and that's a whole different world of pain if you're not a programmer or don't know the um, shader language itself now if you want to make these settings more permanent if we jump over to the advanced settings we can actually pop them in here you can see the scan lines equal zero there which I which I removed earlier so we can actually put a shader effect in here and that will make it permanent for the whole of the um, FSUAE um, the, the whole of the settings that actually affect FSUAE so we can just plug it in there and that will that will uh, take effect straight away so there we go so that's in there so no matter what we play now uh, whether it's hard drive or games straight out of the actual launcher they will be affected by that setting now what I'm going to do in a later video is actually go through the different shaders that we've got because there's many there there is quite a few there um, let me just open up a work and just show how that's affected that as well so as you can see you've got we've got our um the actual looks like it's on the TV so that's that overriding setting set via the actual settings menu rather than the config has actually affected we uh FSUA as a whole. So we can just uh go in there and remove that 
if we so desire and I'm going to actually set the scan lines back to one as it was before actually, actually I'll just leave that and zero in there uh, no I stick it with one so as it was before so I'm just sending it back to as it was before so in the next video well, I'll show you some of the shaders that you can use but that's how to get a CRT effect for your games cheers now if you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please pop over to my Ko-Fi site or Coffee, however you want to pronounce it. And there you can actually support me by dropping me a few pounds, a few francs or dollars, whatever your currency is. All money will be turned back into the show, not just for buying me a coffee. And I'll be buying resources and equipment to actually produce and enhance my current videos on that site itself.